All right, in this video, we're going to talk about sidebars and managing the widgets within the sidebar. So basically, the question is, how do we create a sidebar, how do we work with the widgets, and how do we actually add it to a particular page? Right now, you can see them in the, on the blog page. And then widgets would be things like your search field, um, your categories, we have tags, some popular posts, um, and then other areas such as, I think, the FAQ page is, is a good example. Yeah. We have a, an extra menu that we can make, your, your request appointment form, things like that. We can all play around with, with the sidebars. So let's go ahead and see how it works. In the back end, we want to find appearance, and then we're going to go to sidebars first. Right here, these six, these are all the current active, excuse me, the current sidebars we're using. And if you want to make a new one, you just simply fill it out. So we'll just type in Charlie, make a new one just for this video here. And then if I, you know, if I need to delete it, I can just click delete. These three up here, though, are default to the system. Those, uh, those cannot be removed. Not that you need to, but if you're wondering. All right, so now that I've made my sidebar Charlie, next step is managing the widgets. How do I get widgets in there and you know, utilize them? So let's click widgets. And then what we'll see on the right, these are the current sidebars and then each um, sidebar and what widgets it's using. So for, uh, for example, the blog sidebar, if I open this up, we'll see all these widgets, the archives and the popular posts and the categories and the tags and all that stuff. And this whole entire setup simply works by drag and drop. So I can reorder things just by simply doing this. You know, I can do that. It's going to change them. All right, if I need to delete one, uh, I could just do this and then delete it. All right, you can rename things and like that. And then the current uh, list of widgets that are available for your particular site and theme are over here. So right now, if I expand Charlie, it's obviously blank. It's brand new. If I want to add something, I drag it over. So for instance, let's just do a search. I'll just drag it over there. Put search site, whatever. I'll save it. Okay, and then we'll do, let's do the form. I think it's important you know how to add those and create those forms that's in the sidebar. So I need to do actually do the text, right? And then we'll do um, request appointment. And then I need to copy, paste in the short code uh, for the form. I think that is right here, okay. This little line of code, the short code. This, the system has a default, um, contact form that we use and to add these forms to areas, pages, things like that, you have to copy this this little bit of this line of text which is um, which is called a short code. Paste it, save it. At least I think I saved it. Okay, good. Alright, and then let's add how about a menu? So custom menu. And then we'll just call this uh, quick links. And then I'll attach a menu to it, and it's uh, quick links. There we go. Save it. All right, so now I have my menu built out. So how do I get it into a page? Well, let's go to Pages, and let's just create a new one. All right, and we're going to call this um, Sidebar Video. Okay, that's our name of our page. I want to add some text in there. All right, some jumbo text. All right, now the important part. Over here on the right, we have page attributes box and a sidebar box. Okay, so first thing is we need to make sure our page template is set up to actually have the sidebar. So right here on the template, click the drop down, page the sidebar. Okay, let's publish it, take a quick look, view the page, and then what we'll get right now, because I haven't set the sidebar, it's this blank. I guess alley or whatever you want to call it here. If you see a page or you're you're working on the site and all of a sudden you get this big blank area, it's because you're missing your sidebar. That'd be your indicator. Um, so we need to add the sidebar in there, all right? So let's go down to the sidebar box and then open that up and then we'll find Charlie, which is the one I just made. Save this thing. Now when I refresh, here he goes. Here are the widgets that I added into the uh, into the sidebar. So that is it. It's really easy to use. You can add as many sidebars as you want. You can add use as many widgets as you want, add them to whatever pages that you want. It's really flexible and really easy to set up.